training dads to be great. Fathers. Volume 1. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the Men Teaching Men YouTube channel. Disclaimer The authors of this series are Bible teachers, not trained guidance or family counselors. Viewers may need to contact a professional counselor. Now that my children are grown and I have grandchildren, I am sure I know more about raising sons than I did when my sons were growing and maturing. My father, father-in-law, or friends did not help much, and I had to figure it all out by myself. Which in many cases I failed. The purpose of this video series is to help young fathers in the raising of their sons and or daughters successfully. We hope and pray that this video series will be a blessing and help to you. This might not be the case, but we are going to refer to your children's mother as your wife from now on. Number 1. Put God first in your life. Put God first in your life. God will help you with the raising of your children. God will give you great wisdom. God will bring in other godly men and women to assist you. Being faithful in attending a Bible-believing church is a must. Don't make my mistake. I am college educated, I had a professional position making an excellent salary. But my family lived poor. Poor housing, poor vehicles, poor, poor, poor. Why? Because I was not faithful in tithes and offerings. How stupid. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, so that there may be food in my house, and test me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until it overflows. Number 2. Love and or respect your child's mother. Love and or respect your wife. Never make negative comments about your wife in front of the children or others. Praise your wife. Be truthful. Thank your wife for what she does. Even if you don't love them, try to get along with your in-laws. Help around the house. The more loving, caring, and respectful you are with your wife. Your sons and daughters will emulate your actions and respect you, others, and also their future spouses. The way you relate to your wife, is going to be picked up by your children and they will use that as an example in their lives.
Number 3. Don't bring or store poison in your home. Don't store or bring poison into your home. Poison of pornography. Poison of drugs, alcohol. Poison of a filthy mouth. Poison of filthy conversations. Keep your home pure and holy. Number 4. Prayer should be a big part of your life. Prayer should be a big part of your life. Pray as a family each day. Every person should pray. Individually, pray for your children. Be sensitive to their physical and spiritual needs. Prayer and Fasting Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 But this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Power pack your petitions by combining prayer with fasting. Make and use a prayer list. Pray for wisdom with your children. Find and pray for missionaries. Pray for your home church and staff. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for protection for your children. Children's disobedience. Disobedience to the faith, we pray. Against their will. Pray against spiritual blindness. Against personal wounds. Bind the word, lose the enemy attacks. Pray against a religious spirit. Pray for a kingdom connection. Number 5. Protect your children. Protect your children. Don't allow your children to be placed in situations where they can be influenced by immoral or the deviant behavior of others. All organizations in which your children will participate will need to be reviewed for upright moral standards of all influencers. Protect your children From all immoral groups or individuals Schools Including Christian schools Worldly or ungodly neighborhood families Sports and social clubs. From television and broadcast media. A link to a listing of our recommendations is listed below. This video is dedicated to the honor of Glenn and Wanda Lee Stewart, Cumberland, Maryland. Thanks so much for watching. Hello friends, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal Savior? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. 
He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for my home in heaven. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit and making me a new creature. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer from your heart, you're now born again, you're a Christian. Welcome, welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now part of the family, you're back in the fold. Welcome, congratulations. There's another teaching on the menteachingmen.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved, and that video will help you with your new walk in Jesus Christ. God bless you, God bless you, amen.